Hello everyone. This is Mahesh here and welcome to the Celestial Quest. In today's video, we will take a look at the East Indian Rashi chart in Vedic Astrology. This Rashi chart is also known as Birth Chart, Natal Chart, Lagna Chart or Rashi Chakra. The East Indian chart is also known as Sun Radial Chart and is based on Kalpurush, where the zodiac signs or Rashis are fixed but the houses move. There are three variations of this chart in Vedic Astrology, as I'm showing you on the screen. The one on the left hand side is called the East Indian chart. The one in the middle is called the North Indian chart. And the one on the right hand side is called the South Indian chart. They all represent the same information, but it is presented slightly differently. There could be a lot of information in these charts, such as houses, zodiac signs or Rashis, ascendant or Lagna, and planets or grahas and their degrees and various other reference points such as arudapadas etc you can see some of this information shown in the charts that i'm showing you on the screen let's now focus on positions of zodiac signs or rashis in the east indian chart what you see on this screen is an east indian chart as shown here the square in the middle is typically used to provide information such as the name of the person who this chart belongs to and the type of the chart, for example, Rashi chart in this case. The most important thing you need to be aware of about the East Indian chart is that the positions of the zodiac signs or Rashis are fixed in the East Indian chart. Let's take a look. I'm showing the first zodiac sign Aries or Mesha in the chart, which is shown here with two letter abbreviation AR. Aries sign could also be represented with the zodiac symbol for Aries or number one in the chart as shown here. Please note that the position of the zodiac sign Aries or Mesha will always be in this square in any East Indian chart. As I have explained in my video about zodiac signs or Rashis, the zodiac signs have a fixed order and zodiac sign Taurus or Rishabha comes after Aries or Mesha in that fixed order. The zodiac signs or Rashis and houses are positioned in the East Indian chart in the anticlockwise direction. Therefore, moving anticlockwise in the direction of the arrow, the next sign, Taurus or Rishabha, is shown by the two letter abbreviation TA, will be in the triangle next to the square containing Aries or Mesha, as shown on the screen. The Taurus sign could also be represented with the zodiac symbol for Taurus or number two in the chart as shown here. Remember that the position of the zodiac sign Taurus or Rishabha will always be in this triangle in any East Indian chart. Moving anticlockwise again in the direction of the arrow, the next zodiac sign Gemini or Mithuna shown by two letter abbreviation GE will be in the next triangle in the triangle next to the triangle containing Taurus or Rishabha as shown on the screen in any East Indian chart. Likewise, following the anticlockwise direction, the remaining nine zodiac signs or Rashis in the fixed order are positioned as shown here. Take a note that these signs or Rashis will always be in these positions in any East Indian chart as positions of signs or Rashis are fixed in the East Indian chart. I hope you are now clear about how the zodiac signs or Rashis have fixed positions in the East Indian chart. The next thing you need to be aware of about the East Indian chart is that the positions of the houses in the East Indian chart are not fixed. Let's now focus on how to identify houses in the East Indian chart on this next screen. So where is the first house position in the East Indian chart? Since houses are not fixed in the East Indian chart, the first house location is not fixed and the position of the ascendant or lagna tells you the location of the first house. So you need to look for word ascendant, which is typically written in abbreviated form as ASC or word lagna to figure out the location of the first house in the chart. Now, assuming the ascendant or lagna denoted by words ASC is positioned in the square as shown on your screen, then that becomes the first house in the chart. 
Once you have established the first house in the chart, it is easy to identify the remaining 12 houses. If you want to know more about Ascendant or Lagna, then I have done a separate video on it. Now let's find out where the second house is placed in the chart. As we have learned earlier, the houses and zodiac signs or Rashis are positioned in the anticlockwise direction in the East Indian chart. So you need to move anticlockwise to get to the next house. To do that, let's move in the direction of the arrow and the second house is now highlighted. It is the triangle next to the first house in the anticlockwise direction. Now let's continue to move in the anticlockwise direction as shown by the arrow and see where the third house is placed. It is the triangle next to the second house as highlighted on the screen in anticlockwise direction. Remember that the positions of the houses in the East Indian chart are not fixed but depend on the position of ascendant or lagna which is considered as the first house in the chart and rest of the houses are identified by taking the anticlockwise route from the first house. Therefore, the second house was identified by moving two places from the first house in the anticlockwise direction and third house by moving three places in anticlockwise direction from the first house. Now moving in the anticlockwise direction, we come to the fourth house. It is the square next to the third house as shown in the chart. Continuing in the same way, we get to the fifth house the sixth house, the seventh house, and so on, till we get to the twelfth house, twelfth or the last house in the chart. These are the positions of twelve houses in this particular East Indian chart. If the position of the ascendant or lagna was in some other house, then that would have become the first house in the chart, and the positions of the remaining houses would have then been decided by taking an anticlockwise route from the first house. So I hope it is now clear that positions of the houses in the East Indian chart are not fixed, but depends on the position of the ascendant or lagna in the chart, which becomes the first house and subsequent houses are identified by moving in anticlockwise direction from the first house. Now people always have some confusion when they see numbers written in these houses in the chart. So let's look at few examples to make that clear. The chart you're seeing on your screen is an East Indian chart for Lord Sri Ram. Let's get rid of planet names from the chart so we only have ascendant and numbers left in the chart. Where is the first house in the chart? Any guesses? Is it where you see number one written or is it where you see number four written? We have just learned that the positions of the houses in the East Indian chart are not fixed and the position of the ascendant or lagna tells you the location of the first house. Therefore, the first house in this chart is the square where you see ascendant or lagna denoted by ASC and where the number four is written. I have highlighted it on the screen now. Now, where is the second house? As we already know, going in anticlockwise direction, the second house is where you see number 5 written and it is the triangle next to the first house square where ascendant or lagna is placed. And in the same way, the third house is the next triangle in the anticlockwise direction where you see number 6 written and so on. So what are these numbers then? These numbers represent placement of 12 zodiac signs or Rashis in the chart with one representing zodiac sign Aries or Mesha, two representing zodiac sign Taurus or Rishabha, three representing zodiac sign Gemini or Mithuna, and so on, till we reach the number 12 representing zodiac sign Pisces or Mina. The position of these 12 zodiac signs or Rashis are always fixed in the East Indian chart. So they will appear in these positions as you see them here in any East Indian chart. In this chart, the sign of the ascendant is Cancer or Karka, which is represented by number 4. In Vedic Astrology, we can also reference the ascendant by its sign. So we can refer to the ascendant in this chart as Cancer Ascendant or Karka Lagna. 
Now look at this chart of some person. Let's get rid of planet names from the chart so that we only have ascendant and numbers left in the chart. Where is the first house in this chart? In this case, is it where you see number four written like the previous chart or is it where you see number one written? Since the position of the ascendant or lagna tells you the location of the first house in the East Indian chart, the first house in this chart is the square where you see ascendant is placed denoted by ASC and where the number one is written. I have highlighted it on the screen now. The houses 2, 3, 4, etc. could be located by going in the anticlockwise direction from the first house as we have learned previously. So what are these numbers then? Like previous chart, these numbers represent the placement of 12 zodiac signs or Rashis in this chart. And since it is the Aries ascendant or Mesha Lagna in this chart, or in other words, the sign of the ascendant is Aries or Mesha, therefore ASC appears in the square, which is the fixed position of the first zodiac sign Aries or Rashi Mesha in the East Indian chart. This is represented by number one in this chart. Since the position of the ascendant becomes first house in the chart, it is just a coincidence that square, which is the fixed position of the first zodiac sign, is also the first house in the chart. Similarly, the triangle, which is the fixed position of the second zodiac sign, is the second house in this chart, and so on. Sometimes these signs are also represented in the chart with their actual names or two-letter abbreviations, for example, AR for Aries or TA for Taurus, etc. As shown with the red text in this chart on this next screen. Or sometimes by the zodiac symbols representing the zodiac signs as shown in red color in the chart in the middle. But since the positions of the zodiac signs or Rashis are fixed in the East Indian chart, and houses starting from the first house could be identified with a reference to the position of the ascendant or lagna in the chart. Typically, you will find that the East Indian chart only contains ascendant and planets or graha names as shown in the rightmost chart on the screen without any abbreviations, symbols or numbers to represent zodiac signs or rashis. I hope this was useful. That's all from me for today. See you soon in my next video. Thanks for watching.